So before this video gets underway, guys, I want to say that I am giving away a Nintendo Switch. Just follow me on Instagram at Red Hot Stove Austin. If you are following there, I will DM the winner on December 31st or January 1st. I haven't decided yet. I'll just pick a random follower. I will be honest with you. I'll be doing some more giveaways on my Instagram just to random followers. I just go through, pick a random follower, DM them, get their details, mail them the prize. I just did it with a watch, but I don't have big chesticles. You know, I'm not like a hot girl or anything. So growing my Instagram and like Twitter and stuff can be kind of difficult. So go over there and follow and you will be entered to win a Nintendo Switch. And I'll probably be doing like a giveaway a month or something going forward, just so you know. So follow there, Red Hot Stove Austin. Now to the meat and potatoes of the video. What's going on guys, Anthony here, just bringing you a video where I'm not talking about Call of Duty so much as I'm talking about the channel. Some of you guys have been here since the start in 2007, 2008. Some of you guys just found the channel last week, maybe. Everybody's welcome. I appreciate every viewer, but I want to let you guys know, because I do appreciate you, some goings on behind the scenes and how things are going to be a little, a little bit different going forward. And I, I hate to do this, but it's a necessary evil, I'm afraid. I, I'm just going to kind of explain what happened, so... I wake up this morning and I have a bunch of emails from YouTube. Not a bunch, but like several, you know, I, I didn't count them all, but it was a lot. Uh, just automated responses informing me that a lot of my videos have been demonetized and age restricted. Here's the thing, guys. It's not just Call of Duty that doesn't communicate. Uh, I've been very, very careful not to break any community guidelines as they stood then, but the issue with YouTube right now is that they changed the rules just recently and did not tell me. They did not tell anybody else. They kind of just changed the ad guidelines and the ad rules, and I, I, I mean, I'm just left in the dark here until one of my videos gets demonetized, and then it's like a domino effect, and several do. I think it was actually about a dozen just in the past... I don't know, a couple months that got demonetized. Not a huge deal because these are older videos. They're not pulling a lot of views. So I'm not really losing much of anything. But it, it will affect the content kind of going forward. Like, I noticed this when I was uploading a video the other day. They, they changed how much you could curse. So a couple years ago, they changed it to where, like, hey, you can curse pretty much as much as you want. Like, it's not a big deal. We're going to play ads in your videos. It's fine. Just mark it that you're cursing a lot. And you're good to go. And I've been doing that, been doing that. And then my most recent video, that one actually costed me some money because they didn't tell me of these changes. The changes were not live. I uploaded the video and then they went live with the changes. I heard nothing about it. I mean, maybe I missed the email or whatever, but I, I thought it was Activision. I thought Activision did not like me showing their declining numbers. So they did some kind of community guidelines strike because they couldn't copyright strike me. That's what I initially thought in that video that I made the other day. So I guess it's good news that it's not Activision coming after my channel. Sorry for the clickbait there, but I literally did not know. YouTube did not inform me of anything, any changes that I saw. I may Again, I may have missed the email. It may be on me. If any other creator out there got an email, let me know. But it's like they just changed how advertising works on YouTube as far as what you can and can't do. So all the stuff I did that was in the green light before is now no longer green lit. So a lot of my old stuff is going to get demonetized. It is what it is. Uh, there, there's like a new way to rate your content. And if you curse frequently in the video, they will just demonetize you. There's no actual number for it, though. It's one of those weird, vague rules. And I, honestly, I can curse a little bit still, so I'm going to say uh, this is bullshit because I don't know why these just old words... Wh why is it still a thing? Like, why are we this traditional with it? It's just a word, man. It's a word basically to express anger, frustration, to emphasize something. If I say, like, this is F and BS... You know what I mean? It's just kind of a way to express yourself. It's not really... I, I don't see how this is still so taboo for ads. Like, it's 2022. About to be 2023. I'm going to use one of my other curse words here. Uh, get the fuck over yourself. You know? <laughs> just... Like, it's not a big deal. It's just this old, traditional, archaic way of thinking. We can't move forward as a society if we don't just change these things that are stupid. I, I've... Complained a little bit on Twitter. I don't think I've really done it in a video. I I've complained about Daylight Savings Time. I think they finally done away with it, but for as long as I could remember, I remember thinking that this Daylight Savings Time system is just stupid. It's stupid. 
<laughs> it's just so dumb and annoying and irritating. And it messes up the flow of everything. I, I hate it. I've always hated it. And then finally, I think we have gotten rid of it, right? I, I think that's it. I think this is the last time we have to move the clocks around. I know certain states have just, like in the United States, have just said, no, this is dumb. Let's not do it anymore. Because I, I tried to look up why we did it several years ago, and I could not find a good concrete answer. Like something about it saves a minute amount of energy per year or something at the cost of everyone's sanity and sleep cycles. There's also more accidents, like car accidents, when they move the clocks forward and you lose an hour. So there's that. It's just a big mess. Like, get rid of all this dumb stuff. And this is one of the things that I would really like to see change in my lifetime. Like, stop making these words so taboo. They're just words. It's not a big deal, you know? Uh, now, if I get on here and I start saying stuff that's really offensive, you know? <laughs> like, if I pull a Kanye or something, then yeah, demonetize me. That's not okay. I get that. But if I'm just saying, like, man, my effing a-hole hurts you know I'm like that's whatever dude who cares but going forward i'm afraid i will have to censor myself just a little bit and unfortunately i don't like to do that at all i like to just get in rant mode and go crazy with my my cursing and how angry i can get and stuff like that i think it's entertaining i think you guys like it i like to use rather vulgar references as well so uh there may be some more demonetizations in the future I don't know. We'll see. It remains to be seen. Uh, in the meantime, I, I want to inform you guys and just be upfront that I will be doing some more sponsored content the last half of December here. I will be completely real with you guys. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 content was doing great. Now it's kind of hit or miss if it's going to do well or not. I'm not even in character when I say this. This game has really died off quick. In my next video, I'm going to cover some statistics and stuff. But this game, man, it's just died off quick. And I don't think any content creator is really happy anymore. I I've seen uh, Marksman's video just recently about his rant. And I, I agree with it wholeheartedly. But it's not just Marksman. It's like everybody. There's nobody trying to defend this game at this point because... It's inexcusable, really, and I think that if you even try to defend this mess of a game right now, you will be labeled a, a D-Writer, I will say. And I, God, I hate censoring myself. It just sounds stupid. D-Writer sounds like some bad comic a 12-year-old like wrote up you know, in math class while he was bored or something. Like, it's D-Writer on the way to save the day. Whoa. Like, I don't, man, it's just dumb. I, I hate it. I hate all this, but anyway... Uh, it's sort of like how they have that code of conduct in, in Modern Warfare 2. Like, you have to you have to play with integrity and sign all these waivers and stuff in this mature-rated game with, like, 60-year-old dads in front of their 80-inch Toshiba TVs, like, playing. They don't care, man. Like, you know, they were in Vietnam. <laughs> Do you think they care what you say in a video game? Uh, I don't think they give a damn. Um, again, I, I don't know how much I can curse. I don't know if I have a limit. Can I have like an actual limit? Can I can I get three f bombs? But anyway, back to that last point. There will be some more sponsored content the last half of December here. I know it's kind of annoying, but uh, I'm getting some really good offers right now. The channel's doing well, even though Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 has dropped off. We hit 400k. We're about to 415k. I'm really hitting my groove i don't know it's it's so strange to still be growing 15 years later i think a lot of other people have come and gone and maybe they've gotten more popular than me quicker and they've made more money than me but the fact that i could still do this 15 years later and still grow my my content and my brand is incredible to me i don't know it's i still have imposter syndrome it's weird i wake up and i think like wow i am a z-list celebrity kind of Speaking of Instagram, at the start of the video, uh, famous birthdays, like, DM me on there. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so, I'm not the best at getting back to DMs, especially right now. I'm not even really getting back to a lot of people I know personally over DMs just because I'm so busy at the moment. I'm trying to do a video a day. I've been trying to do a video a day. If not, if I do take a break, I still work behind the scenes on some ad content and stuff like that, working out some ad deals and whatnot. I'm a one-man show, so I've been very busy. Uh, so I just, I just have not got back to people as well as I should. Uh, it just happens every single year. This year, it's especially bad because I'm working with like seven different ad companies at the same time of covering Modern Warfare 2 daily, at the same time of trying to 
uh, you know, just keep in contact with the, the main people, like my mom, my girlfriend, and stuff like that. Uh, dog just got sick, got to take him to the vet. So it's just a very busy time of the year. I don't really rest at all uh, from November to the end of December. And then I, like I said, I take January off. It's just how I roll. But yeah, I just wanted to inform you guys of the content changes coming forward or going forward. But yeah, just wanted to inform you guys of the content changes, the unfortunate content changes going forward. Uh, after December, I think the ad offers will die down from companies, so there will be less of that, but I just, I hate that I have to censor stuff for you guys. I wish I was just a millionaire or a zillionaire or something, and then maybe I could just make all the content I want and just give a big middle finger to the old YouTube guidelines, but that is not the case. And uh, the money right now is very good this time of year, so I do not want to piss off the ad sponsors and stuff with that said though i will try to keep the content as genuine outside of that there'll just be less cursing again i don't know how much i can or can't they have not specified and then i think they have some kind of automated bot that'll detect it so i don't know why they can't give me a hard number or at the very least give me the words that are completely taboo i'll, I'll try to cut them out i'm assuming ye old f-bomb <laughs> but i have no clue uh, with that said, I still plan to bring you guys Modern Warfare 2 content. You know, it's it sucks though because we have this game for the next uh, two years. I guess a year and ten months now. But man, it is not. We're, we're not off to a good start, and they need to do something quick to make this game worth playing because legitimately, in tomorrow's video, you guys are going to see some hard data like hard 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 data that's going to show that this game is is not it it's in deep trouble and i don't just mean modern warfare roman numeral 2 i mean i mean call of duty as a whole warzone 2 has kind of flopped as well so you guys are going to see the full monty as far as that goes but either way guys i hope you're cool with these changes um I'm sorry for the kind of clickbait title and I don't mean to scare you with stuff, but I don't really know what's going on right now. So I just have to assume and make videos and stuff. And this, this video is no different. Like I have to assume that YouTube's not going to be very happy with me if I keep doing my usual shtick. So, uh, uh, it is what it is, but Hey guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, regardless, you know, thank you for sticking with me all these years. Here's to 500,000 subscribers. We're going to get there sooner than later if I grind a little bit this year. So I'm hoping that MW Roman numeral 2 can give me something to work with. My dance partner, I've said it before, I'll say it again. My dance partner has no legs. Kind of hard to lead when that's the case, content-wise. I think other content creators are finally waking up, though, to how awful this franchise is. And I don't know. Uh, I'll cover it in tomorrow's video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.